Hi, this video is going to be about law of probability and genetics, and today's problem is a recently married couple are both heterozygous for cystic fibrosis, a recessive genetic disorder, they would like to start a family and would like to have two children. And here are the three questions. As usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve uh, each question on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. What is the probability that the first pregnancy would result in a child with cystic fibrosis? And in order to solve this problem, we need to build a Punnett square. And we told that both uh, parents are heterozygous. So this genetic disorder is recessive. So when parents are heterozygous, that means they have one normal allele, and we put capital A for the normal allele, and one recessive allele that causes this genetic disorder, and we put small a for this um, allele. So the second parent also would be heterozygous. And this can be male, for example, and here this side can be female. And when we build a Punnett square, we can find uh, the frequencies and genotypes of uh, the progeny. So here we would have capital A, capital A. Here we would have capital A, small a, capital A and small a here, and small a, small a here. And as you see, this genotype would result in genetic disorder, cystic fibrosis, and uh, three out of four would be phenotypically normal. Those uh, two out of four uh, would be carriers. But uh, once again, these carriers would be phenotypically normal. So uh, the, qu the answer for this question would be uh, that the probability would be one out of four. Or we also can say that this is going to be 0 0.25 probability on the scale between 0 and um, 1. Or 25% on the scale between 1 and 100%. So all these answers would be correct. And question B. What is the probability that the second pregnancy would result in a child with cystic fibrosis? And no matter what is the uh, genotype of the first child, it doesn't affect genotype of the uh, next child. So the probability that the second child would have uh, this genetic disorder or would be homozygous recessive, uh, the probability would be one fourth. So um, question C. What is the probability that both the first and second child would have cystic fibrosis? And the probability that the first child would have uh, this genetic disorder would be one quarter, or one chance out of four. And probability that the second child would have this genetic disorder also would be one out of four. So uh, these two independent events so we have to use a uh, rule of multiplication and the probability that we would have uh, or this family would have two children that is uh, that would follow one another or two children in a row with this uh, genetic disorder the probability would be 1 16 or if you need an answer as a percentage you need to divide 1 by 16 and multiply by 100. And this is going to be an answer in the percentage form. Or if you need uh, your answer in just uh, as a decimal um, number, you just have to divide 1 by 16 and you're going to get an answer as a decimal number. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.